Welcome back to Coach's Corner, and we're talking track on this edition of Coach's Corner because the state track meet is this Friday and Saturday. Regionals were held this weekend, and uh, Lee Guess, who handles our girls' track program, is with us. And uh, Coach, how'd the uh, regionals go, and how many are we taking to state this year? Regional went real good. Uh, we're taking five girls. Uh, we got uh, one freshman, uh, a sophomore, and three seniors going this year. Uh, they're all doing individual things. Uh, my high jumper, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my long jumper got in, uh, Kendall Dunn, she jumped 17-3. She also run the 300 hurdle, she won that, uh, ran 49-9. Um, my uh, distant girl, uh, Sierra Gray, she got in in the two mile, she won it, and she ran it in 12-5, uh, 12, 12 minutes and 57 seconds. And then we have a shot girl that got in, uh, she threw 38, which is Jesse Grimm. And then we have uh, Jesse Perrin, who got in in the, uh, the discus, she threw 104.7. So we're 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 very fortunate to get in. We we're so young. We have like I said, 19 freshmen out there, and it's very hard to get freshmen in this at this time of year. Running against uh, older women. I I was the the discus and the shot. There's a lot of good uh, athletes across the state. Those are tough. Those are tough uh, uh, events to qualify in, aren't they? Yes, because of the the size of the girls and the uh, the age of the girls. Uh, we have like I said, sophomore and a freshman. The, the freshman has won everywhere she went this year in the in the. Uh, Shot put. You're talking about Grimm, right? Grimm, Grimm yeah. has won where she went. She is just going to be outstanding. We look for her to be a, maybe a four-time state champion. She has that kind of quality. And so does Jessie Perrin. She is such a small person, but she has that spin, and she gets it out there pretty far. She's just learning how to really spin, and she's on the way to being one of the best we had here in a long time, too, in that spot. But it's very hard. Every year somebody comes up that you never heard of in that sport and just takes off. So we are right where we are now. That thing. Same thing with the long jump. It's a hard one too far. It's very, very competitive. Right, 18 feet or better, you know, I said, get you to stay. I girl can jump 18. She just haven't got it done this year yet. I want to talk about uh, Kendall Dunn because you and I both watch Kendall play basketball. We know what a good athlete she is, but uh, to be an outstanding hurdler, uh, that may be the most difficult track event there is, and to be a champion in hurdles, uh, that tells you something about not only her athleticism, but her agility. My goodness, that's a, that's a difficult thing to do. It's very difficult. Uh, the, the time, you really, most time, uh, you'll have a coach that can really coach uh, on that, that sports anyhow. And then Coach Gray did a great job with her. Uh, he would do the drills with her, and then I would take and have her do some running, some extra stuff. She's got one of the biggest horses you ever want to see. She doesn't want, she don't want to lose. I mean, no kid wants to lose, but she is one of those young ladies that you know is going to go out there and give 130% every time. And then to do the long jump and to do the hurdles and have to run on relays, mm -hmm. it's very hard to do that race. It's, I wouldn't want to do it myself personally. Right. And then uh, Sierra Gray, next year she'll be a senior. She's, she's one of the outstanding long-distance runners, whether it be cross-country or track. She's one of the best in the state. She is. Uh, Sierra went out there and, and took the lead in a two-mile and just tell everybody off and say, come catch me if you can, and no one can catch her. Uh, she's ready to go to another level, too. She's, she's going to be good. Next year, we will, we will really look for her to try to win it all. I think she has the opportunity to win it all as a senior. So it's going to be super. You, you got five girls you mentioned. How do you go through practice this week uh, trying to maintain the mental and the physical edge that you need to go to the state tournament with just those five, uh, with just those five girls? you got to stay on top of them pretty much to make sure that they're focused, don't you? Yeah, well, well like today, uh, they're going to be doing all the drills. And uh, 3.45, we'll get them out and send them home because there's not much you can do this time of the year except, you know, just fine-tune everything. So all week we just by fine-tuning, make sure we know what the space is on the deal. And the running part, Coach, uh, uh, he'll to take care of them to the two-mile girl. So he'll put her on a running distant run, and she'll come back and run some on the track. The hurdler, Coach Gray, would take her with the hurling part, and I'll take her out there and have her do some running stuff out there a little later. Plus, I have to do the boys in the mile relay since they got in. So we, uh, we'll be having out there, a lot of kids out there doing a little running right now. Not enough athletes to compete for team titles, but uh, how important is it for these individuals to, to realize and accomplish a state championship within their own event? It's great. Uh, and that's what we go out there and tell them like kids. We are probably not going to ever win state as a whole as a team. But if you come like a state champion or a runner-up or third-place person, that's a, a goal by itself you can uh, set your goals for. And we ask them, say, hey, go out there and try to be the best you can be. And the rule is if you go out every week and you are uh, PR, when you know, get your personal best, that's all we can ask from you. If your personal best is where you want the best in the state, we're all on the board with you. And they are. This group of girls right here finished no worse than fourth all year in all eight track meets. So we're up and blessed. And so uh, they know as a group that they can do a lot of things. We scored 46 points, finished fifth in the regional. Uh, but you look over there and see that BA and all those guys got nine kids and three of them in every event, so we can't compete with them when they got three kids in every event. We don't have that kind of 
uh, Taylor right here right now. But she did tell us this season that this uh, team is so young that a lot of these girls are, if they grow up and they keep working hard, they're going to have success in track and field. We had a, we had a talk on the way back on the bus about if we stay together, we can be one of the top five teams in the state next year. And, you know, look across the board. Everybody knows that we have talent. It's just getting this talent to develop. And if we can find some eight great girls that can come along and help as a freshman next year, we'll be real, one of the better teams in the state. Have a great summer. Good luck to the track mate. Lee Guess, our girls track coach, on this edition of Coach's Corner.